Hi, my name is Mike. Thanks for joining me today on my channel, Technically Church, where I share over 20 years of experience in audio, video, lighting, and multimedia. You can always find out more on my website at technicallychurch.com. Let's jump in. In this video, I'm gonna explain how to update the firmware on your Dante card. So this is a Dante expansion card, and I'm using this uh, in a Behringer wing. So this uh, likely would apply with any Dante expansion card. I just happen to have the wing. Uh, the process would be the same. So to update your Dante expansion card, um, obviously it does have to be plugged into your soundboard. You have to be on the Dante network, and you're gonna actually use the Dante controller on your computer. So the Dante controller is a free piece of software that Dante puts out. Uh, Audinate puts out is their, you know, the company. Um, so I'm going to jump over to my computer, show you how, what that process looks like. So in the Dante controller, which you can download from the website, let me show you real quick. Um, if you go to getdante.com and click on the Dante controller, you can download the Dante controller for free. All right, so the Dante controller looks like this. If you haven't used it, it will show you all the devices on your network, on the Dante network. So in this case, I have my computer and I have the wing. So to update the wing, uh, it does have to show on the network in the controller. So if you're having some sort of an issue where it's not showing, you won't be able to update it. Um, so you can see on my device info here, I do have the wing. It shows me my current Dante version. As of this recording, 4.2.7.7 is the most recent firmware for the Dante expansion card. Okay, so I am up to date, but I'm gonna show you that process. Um, the Dante updater is actually a separate application that is linked from the Dante controller. Um, so it's next to the plus icon here, launch Dante updater. So if you click that, it will update this other piece of software, which you could uh, open on your own. So the Dante Updater has a couple things here on the Home tab. You have several windows. It'll show you the devices with updates available. It'll show you the devices that are up to date, and it'll show you devices with an issue under Consult Manufacturer. So if we open Devices, uh, Updates Available, I currently have none, but you may, if it's out of date, you would have uh, the, the Wing Dante card would just pop up right there and you'd be able to update it. It would show you your current version for the firmware and the newest version. So you can see under up to date, I have my computer and the wing both show as up to date. So under updates available, if your wing is showing, you could go ahead and just click it and you'd click the bottom of the button at the bottom that says update selected devices. At that point, it's a really easy process. It walks you right through it, just the next, next, next. You know, obviously it tells you to keep everything powered on. It takes a few minutes and updates your card. Um, so once that happens, then it would show that you have the newest uh, version of the firmware and you'd be good to go. Thanks for joining me today. Again, my name is Mike. You can always find out more on my website, technicallychurch.com or on my YouTube channel, Technically Church. Look forward to seeing you soon.